Do, do, do. It's time for the Circuit Python video. Yeah. Okay. So coming up, August eighth, two thousand nineteen, is Circuit Python. Day. Eight. Yeah. The snakiest of days. Every week in our Circuit Python community chat, um, which is two p.m. on uh, two p.m. on Monday, um, we're gonna have more information about Circuit Python Day. But if you're interested, hang out in the Circuit Python channel. Check out the newsletter. Check out our blog post. We'll have all sorts of things people can do around the world. I already got an email from someone who runs user groups in India and they want to do a circuit python meetup in India and they want to know if we'd send out some stuff absolutely yes so that stickers is stickers and posters that is coming up very soon um, we get some photos of some of the uh, rapid manufacturing we're doing to keep up with the demand of pi badges so much pi gamer and so pi much gamer. pi badge yep and uh, that's what we're working on right now we're trying to get out as many of these as possible um, one of the things that i had mentioned before is this new roundup of, or this new uh, trend of lots of different handhelds. So this was from Pixel Land. Yeah. And this is a screenshot of a blog post. They posted up about 20, 20 something devices that are coming out. I mean, the and chips are getting Pi so Badge and Pi Gamer made the list. The chips are getting so fast and the displays are getting so cheap. Um, it's never been a better time. If you want to create an open source gaming handheld, yeah. Go for it, because you can run Python on them. You can now run Elua. You can run, you know, Arduino. You can run MakeCode Arcade. It's a great time. Yeah, and we're really happy that ours is using open source hardware, software, and people will be able to learn from the games. Um, over on learn.adafruit.com, if you're interested in Microsoft Azure and Circuit Python, you can learn all about it and how to make this plant monitor and figure out how much moisture is in your plant. It's also a really good demo for sending and receiving data over Azure. It's a, it's a very yeah. popular... Um, we didn't want to have the, the, the boring demo where it's like, hi, data, hi, got data. Yeah, this, this, is, is, this is useful. It's temperature and moisture level, and you can send it to and from yep. different devices. Um, Speaking of... Yeah, we have... Stuff. This is the Airlift Wi-Fi Featherwing coprocessor. Yep. So it works with CircuitPython. Add, add any... Add Wi-Fi to almost any microphone. And it's working out really well. I mean, like, it's adding this. You just plug it in, use it with your Feather M4, or yeah. you can use it on a breadboard. And uh, people are liking the airlift, and our library is really solid for it. Okay, some odds and ends that is in the world of Python and hardware in the CircuitPython community. This is from Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove is working on a UFO screen test that happens to run CircuitPython for this out-of-the-world lighting. Um, you can see uh, the custom front panel um, from the Adafruit tutorial that we linked to as well on how to how to make this UFO come to life. Um, this is kind of neat. We've seen a lot of these um, wire sculptures, and this one is a Circuit Python based one. This oh, is a cute. seven segment character clock. A desk clock built from a few Adafruit boards and brass rods, and uh, it's on Hackaday right now. Yes, the free form free form wiring yep. is beautiful. Next up, Les made uh, a really fantastic um, name badge. So in addition to it having Les's name, uh, you could see this is a QR code yeah. that's on it. And then you get all this information. So that was made with Pi Portal. Lots of people like doing name badges. Um, we've been seeing these. Uh, this is from Marlene. Oh, cute. Yeah. Uh, Marlene made this. So many fun things to do with, a circuit, uh, with circuit Python. I'm getting around to doing stuff. Not going to wait for a conference to wear this, by the way, Python. Hardware. That's this is Melissa's hashtags. guide. Yep. So Marlene and Melissa, I like how Marlene made it purple. You can change the background color, and yep. she she likes purple. Pick your favorite color. <laughs> yeah, um, this is kind of neat. Uh, we have a guide, and I think this is really really big news. If you're in the Python world, you probably know about this, but um, using Python on Windows 10. So Windows 10, it's even easier um, to run Python now. Uh, all you have to do is install it with the May 2019 Windows 10 update, and you can get Python 3.7 on your computer. My favorite is that, you know, if it, they're going to come with Python, it comes with Python 3. You can install yeah. 2, but it kind of does 3, yeah. and so they're looking forward to the future, not back to the past. Yeah, I like that it's soon on lots of different operating systems. It'll ask you what you want to install, and, you know, Python 3 would be the ideal. Yes. Okay. Um, there's a cool guide if you're interested in the UF2 bootloader and creating custom boards. Maybe you want your own, you wanted the UF2 bootloader, we give it for SAMD21, SAMD51, yeah. NRF52840, 
It's a great bootloader. It's fully open source. It supports both uh, UART, CDC, and mass storage bootloading styles. Um, please use it. Please adapt it. Please port it to other microcontrollers. Yep. We would love to see. I think there's STM32 as well, um, but we'd love to see it for any chip that has USB native. All right. If you're familiar with uh, this, is a Circuit Python board add-on. This is the it's Mini like a Sam. Squid. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, it's the Mini Sam adapter. It plugs into the back of the Mini uh, Sam boards. Um, the holes are for. Um, oh, for the little characters. Yeah. So, and uh, it might be called a backpack, but yeah. um, also it could be exoskeleton. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, in the world of MicroPython. Um, so. Right now, MicroPython version number. I think it's sure. 11. It's uh, 1.11. 11. Yeah. Um, improve uh, maybe support. That's uh, the frozen modules. Empire. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if people say MIPI or MIPI is MIPI, I'm, which is the yeah. Which what, do is you, the what, do, what do people say for MPY? Do they say MPY? MPY. MPY. Yeah. MPI, yeah. yeah. Um, support for native code, new JavaScript port, and uh, there's a roadmap for 1.1 to 2.0. Which includes SAMD support. We back this. Um, one of the trends that we saw, and this is why I included this in here, is the, these badges and a lot of new dev boards, if not all of them, are now supporting Python on hardware in some way. So this is a DEF CON badge. And what does it support? MicroPython. So we're seeing a lot of hardware projects that don't have to have the overhead of a giant tool chain. You can just use something like MicroPython, CircuitPython, or whatever Python on hardware that you end up using, and you don't have to have anything other than a text editor. Really. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And that is all the Python on hardware news this week. Yay, all the news that's fit to Weppel. Yeah. <laughs>